Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 49 of City Living. It's uh, pretty much where we left off other than I brought them home, like I said I was going to do. So I do have Salim singing because he needs to get to level 3 in the singing skill and use a bubble blower, which is quite easy because there'll be one at the festival as well as, well as one here. They have one. But uh, while we're doing that, we can have Ariana and Elijah go down to the festival. So Ariana and Elijah are down here, so I'm going to have them kiss, and I'll have her do the kissing, because I think that's how it has to work. I think you have to have the kissing be initiated by the person who actually, because it says kiss someone, so she needs to kiss. And now I'm pretty sure Miko is on the right, so she needs to kiss someone, so we'll have her uh, kiss Charlie, <laughs> if I can find kiss. Kiss. Trying for baby is grayed out because we have a full house. So she should have gotten that. And so they both need to complete a mural. And uh, so I'm going to now have Elijah and Ariana go home. And as soon as Salim has finished and got to level 3, we will have them come down. So let me look at Charlie. Now he's finished his City Native Aspiration in the last part, so I'm just going to take him off of that, just because um, I was going to put him on... Have, the, have they finished? Oh, they finished the Fabulously Wealthy. So we've got that. I'm going to just put him on Knowledge. And I probably could do that for the others too. And I wish she would leave, move, because you're kind of in my way, Malcolm. So I was going to um, describe a flirty dream. And he wants to embrace her. Why don't we do that at the romance festival? Embrace, because that's what that whim is. Embrace Miko. Can you go away? We don't want to talk to you, Malcolm. Salim has reached level 3. So I am going to stop him from his practicing singing and have him quickly go over here. Sit and try. And while that's going on, I'm going to go back to Charlie. And have Hannah go here. So that should have completed Charlie's whim. And he wants to use the bubble blower. <laughs> well, what I thought we would do, we're going to throw some petals. And hopefully she doesn't dislike that. Serenader. And then I thought, um, caress her cheek. Oh, he's confident from being, from doing the, um, the serenading. And we'll do a heat of the moment proposal. But I should be focusing on, I don't know how long that's going to take for that. Oh, nope, we're not going to do that, because that was not good. <laughs> For some reason, he didn't like that. So we're just going to brighten... Oh, no, I didn't want him to propose. I changed my mind. Oh. <laughs> well, at least she's saying yes. <laughs> I thought when they got the hit from the negative that that was maybe not the best time to propose. But... I keep saying to not show that dialogue again. Keep showing it to me. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Okay. Well, it was successful after all. I didn't think it might. I thought it might not be. So where is... We'll just have him kiss first. She may not like this because she's unflirty. 
No, not flirt, kiss. I'm not going to, so they, he wants to use a bubble blower, which there should be one down here, so they could do it together, use that together. I think we probably have all these plants in our garden, so I don't think we need... Where is the bubble blower? I guess I could just send them back home and use it up there if I can't find it down here. Okay, oh, I think I will just send him home. I'll send Miko and Charlie home. And so that should have completed it. Yep. And so, so we're going to finish. He's dazed, of course. And he doesn't, she's probably uncomfortable from, oh, she has to pee. Oh, well, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> you have to do your, blow a timid kiss. I just, that's the one thing I do like about the unflirty is I think they're quite funny. The, um, inadequate, just all the things that they do are so funny. So, um, can we kiss? Unflirty kiss. Uh, so what we'll be doing, an unflirty kiss. So let's see what this is like. <laughs> Don't really look any different than a regular kiss. And that, we've done that. Great. So you, you know, you may as well just go home and go to the bathroom at home. So, and the benefit of living in the area with the festivals, we don't actually have to hang around. It'll just clean up. Oops, there's that elevator in my way. So, he needs to go to the bathroom. We got a lot of Sims needing to go to the bathroom. But I think uh, I'll just look after their needs for the evening and we will be back in the morning because we're going to try and take them to do the mural so that they can at least get to the last tier of the City Living Aspiration in this part. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I'll be back in the morning. Well, it took quite a while to get them all ready to leave this morning. And as you can see, it's now 1.49 in the afternoon. With eight Sims in the house, it takes quite a long time. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have um, Elijah do a protest and hope that someone else will join in so that we can have Salim donate. And the other three are currently painting and Salim does need to go over and help paint because he does need to paint a mural at the art center also. But I just thought I would see if this works. It doesn't actually look like it's working because I don't, no one seems to be helping or joining in on the protest. Maybe it'd be more successful if they actually protested over here. She's a teen. As opposed to, I think this, I don't know if this is actually the property. I would think kind of it's not. This is, but I don't know. I just thought I would try and see how it worked. But, uh, and that's a child. <laughs> so they can't join in the protest. Because at the moment, it's only people in the house doing the protesting. Okay, so they, it didn't seem to work. So you are going to go just join Miko in painting. And maybe I should have split this up. No, don't. Of course, I'm going to have to continue staying here and looking and monitoring them. Because they keep not finishing their murals. <laughs> She's at least still working on it. I don't know why Ariane is leaving. And the toddlers are here, as you can see, they're not like away. So I have set this up and I had to think I've already done this before. Um, so that they have a play area for the toddlers. And then the bathroom has potty chairs and I even put showers in there. But I think I needed that because when I came to the Humor and Hijinks Festival, people caught on fire and got all dirty <laughs> or the back of the... Maybe they didn't catch on fire because I missed it. But... Uh, they got all filthy from the fireworks backfiring, so I just put showers in, in there so that they could sh shower and stay and continue doing what they were doing. I don't know why she's having a problem. I don't know why she's like shaking, modeling, putting her head in. She didn't stop, luckily. So Miko has reached painting level two because she didn't have any painting skill. So they are doing a more basic one. They're doing a political mural. Whereas Ariana and Hannah are doing, I think they're doing an optical. I don't remember exactly. Does it tell me if I have her over here? It just says mural and I can't see anymore, but it was one that was not available for Miko who had no painting skill. All she, I think, could do was graffiti, cultural maybe, and political. So we'll see what this one looks like. But I chose political, so because she, she started it. 
And I figured I should have her start it because I didn't know if she could help if it was a mural that was above her skill set. So I had her start because the others all, like these two have maxed. Well, I know for sure Hannah has maxed her painting skill. Not 100% sure if Ariana has maxed her painting skill yet or not. I, I thought maybe she had and she has actually maxed her painting skill. So she has maxed it. I thought maybe she had. I just wasn't sure. And uh, Salim, I know he's he's got painting skill, but no, he hasn't maxed it. He's only at seven. So I don't know why they keep like putting their hands up and looking. I kind of probably should have just left the 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 nanny came all on her own without me calling her, or maybe she didn't. <laughs> I can't remember if I called the nanny or not. I thought I didn't, but perhaps I did. I don't remember at this point, but uh, but she did come back on her own at a point where I didn't call her, so that might be why I'm getting confused. Because I did, I she definitely did come on her own at one point, but I think I maybe called her, and then I decided just to bring them here because I have this is all set up that there's there's everything except for food to eat readily at hand. That's the only disadvantage is there's not really any food. But um, and I don't know how is what is he doing. Did he paint or is he just looking at it? No, he didn't paint that. That was painted by someone else. How hungry is he? Not too bad. Because what I'm thinking I might try and get him to do is I might get him to order. Oh, in the no discount. Because, of course, he has the in the no discount because he's maxed that. Because he's completed the aspiration. So I'm going to have him get do that and then order some food. And give it to little, I think Angelina's the one who's who's hungry I sell it to you at cost so um just hopefully i'll be able to get the food and get buddy order uh pork adobo for two and we may as well since we're here start this gathering and then hopefully i can like just put it in his inventory and then pass it to the because i don't actually want him to eat it because while he's a teeny bit hungry he's not really hungry so stop Put in inventory. Can he get more than one dish with his in the no discount? Yeah, he can. Well, if you want to eat, you can you can have some lumpia because you don't know that recipe. And let me go back and bring. Oh, 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 oh! No, you're not supposed to be over here. You're supposed to have left those toddlers at home. Oh, did they finish? Yes. So she's at level eight. And of course, the apartment will complete when they go home. Did she get it? They both got it. I think you can only have two people painting at one time, to my knowledge. So I'm not going to have them help. So they can do whatever they want because they're finished their paint, their thing. So this is their very interesting. It is a can't. It's an optical illusion, is what it is, and it's only normal, which I'm surprised, given that they're they've maxed the painting skill. And uh, it's called Canyon Illusion, is what this is. This, okay, oh, well, that's theirs, and it's only normal quality, which, like I said, I find a bit strange. So let me look. I know that Angelina, oh, she's very hungry. So let me get the food, see if I can swing what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the food from the inventory there, and then have Angelina grab it. And he's just mostly tired. So we're just hanging out here a little bit longer while we wait for these two to finish their, their mural. Because it's not completed and he is still painting and he's bored from social boring discussion. Let's keep painting both of you so we can get that ticked off for both of you even though it won't help him because he still needs to donate to a protester as long as he's still painting she's got to level four now what i'm curious just out of curiosity can she mentor she can mentor i wasn't sure if you could mentor with the mural painting but she can you learn something new every day so i think the toddler should be okay because of the fact that um, I got food for Angelina, who was hungry. And there, Elijah learned how to make that lumpia. Like I said, he didn't know it. 
And I suppose, how is Charlie doing? He's dirty. Oh well, it's fine. They can all look after themselves when they get home. I guess I won't go fast just in case they somehow accidentally come off of it. I probably should have her mentoring him. I wish I would know why they... Is she still painting? No, she's not. You better keep painting because I want you to... Maybe I won't interfere with that. I won't try to mentor anymore. Oh, Oliver got to communication level four. So his little skills are coming along pretty well. He He's talking and playing sim shape. So he's working on, so Miko's got to level five. I'm just a little bit nervous about them. Yes, so she completed that and He's completed the mass, the mural, so that's good. So he just needs to donate to a protester. But like I said, I think that's it for this part. I was really, my goal was to do the kissing at the romance festival and to try and do the mural for all four of them. And we've done that. So we really sort of completed everything. So I think we'll have one last part, 50. And uh, just sort of check in on how they're doing and where they progress. And I did off camera in between the night and the day I completed their... Um, fortune aspiration for all but Miko because Miko hasn't been in the house long enough so when they made the money it didn't uh, you know the earlier portions didn't help her with her aspiration so the five five of them have completed the fortune aspiration including Charlie who had shown doing that last night but uh, I should oh she didn't eat I gave her the food and I forgot to stop her and is he angry he's angry from being tired Okay, so all I'm just going to do is I'm going to take them home, but I'm going to put her food in her inventory. So I'll just handle this. I'm going to get them all home, and that's it for this part. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye! If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you haven't already done so, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much!